Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on orifices and mouthpieces. In this video, we are going to find out what is the discharge through partially submerged orifice. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A rectangular orifice of 2 meter width and 1.2 meter deep is fitted in one side of large tank. The water level on one side of orifice is 3 meter above the top edge of orifice. While on the other side of orifice, water level is 0.5 meter below the top edge. Calculate the discharge through orifice if CD is equal to 0.64. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now here for this rectangular orifice width and depth is given. So here I have shown this shape that is width B is there 2 meter and depth D is there for 1.2 meter. Now on one side of the orifice the top edge is having a distance from three surface of water. So this is the top edge of the orifice and from free surface of water the distance we will say h1 which is equal to 3 meter that is given now on the other side of orifice how this water level is given that is on the other side the water level is given that is below this top edge it is at a distance of 0.5 meter so here we have to show that this is the top edge and this is the water level and the distance in between them is 0.5 meter. So if we observe this is the water level on one side and here is the water level on other side. So what is the difference of water levels on both the sides? So the difference we will show here with H. So how to find out this H? So if we observe this diagram H is equal to this H1 plus 0.5. So 3 plus 0.5 that is 3.5 meter. Now again we have to find out the H2 that is the distance from the water surface up to this bottom edge of the orifice. That is this distance H2. Now again we will observe the diagram. So how to find out this H2. So H2 is equal to this H1 plus this depth D. So this D is known. So H1 plus D 3 plus 1.2 which is equal to 4.2 meter. Now we will move for the question. So what is the question? We have to find out what is the discharge through this partially submerged orifice. Now if we observe this diagram here is the orifice. So half portion is free portion and another half portion is submerged in the water. So we can say that this is the partially submerged orifice. So again we will make for the orifice two parts. So first part is which is submerged in the water and other part is the free portion. So we will make here calculation of two types of discharge. So first step is the discharge through submerged portion. So how to calculate this discharge? That is we will say here for this part 1 Q1 is equal to CD into area into velocity. So we have to concentrate on this section only that is this section 1. So this is the bottom edge and this is the edge which is at the level of this water. Now CD into area into velocity. So CD is coefficient of discharge. So we will take here the value 0 0.6. Now how to calculate the area? Now if we observe area means what? This is the rectangular shape. So we have to take here B width multiplied by height. So this is only submerged portion. So what is the height that is getting submerged in the water? That means we have to find out only this portion that is only this height so I will show here only this height that we have to consider so if we observe this diagram again this h2 minus h1 then we will get this height so how to write this area that is b multiplied by in the bracket h2 minus h so this is the h so we have to take then velocity. So how to calculate velocity? That is under root of 2gh. 
so this is the height h so if we put here the value so h2 is 4.2 h is 3.5 under root of 2 into 9.81 into 3.5 so when we calculate this we will get the answer 7.4 to 49 meter cube per second so this is the first part now we will move for the second part now we have to concentrate on the second section so what is the discharge through free position so this is the second section we will say discharge q2 is there so how to calculate q2 so again for the free position we have formula so we will take the formula q2 is equal to 2 by 3 CD into B into under root of 2G into H raised to 3 by 2 minus H1 raised to 3 by 2. Now if we observe this second section on one side or this is the top edge and for the second section this is the bottom edge. So for this top edge it is having distance h1 and for the bottom edge it is having a distance from this free surface of water that is h so we have to skip skip this whole portion we have to consider only this half portion of orifice this is only on one side there is the water level this is the height h1 and this is the bottom for, for the bottom edge this is the height h then we have formula for this so if we apply this formula we will put the value of h and h1 then we will get the answer 5.108 meter cube per second then what is the total discharge so total discharge is addition of these two discharge that is q1 plus q2 so which is equal to 12.5329 meter cube per second so this is the answer